Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. Today we're going to be learning about the elimination method when you're trying to solve a system of equations. Now before I teach any new method on systems of equations, I'd like to kind of give an overview of what it is. And it's when two or more equations are working together. Now this is a pretty typical looking one. Um, we have two equations here. And graphically what they look like, we have two lines that intersect at a certain point, okay? And that point where they intersect, right there, that is what we're looking for. That is the solution. It's an ordered pair, an x, y, and that is our goal for all systems of equations, is to find the point where they intersect. Now, a little bit of a extra info here, um, because it's going to kind of make sense to you when you uh, see the elimination method. If you add these two equations together, the x's, the y's, and the whole numbers, you will get 9x plus 8y equals 25. And did you know that when you add two equations together, that this new equation forms a line that has the exact same solution? Okay, it's just a little bit of information that uh, will help you out. So, if you're wondering why we're going to be possibly making new equations, this is why. Now, let's look at the elimination method. Here is a uh, system of equations, and they're both in um, standard form. Now, if I were to try to graph these, it would be not be too easy. If I were to... Um, try to do the substitution method. I would have to manipulate the numbers quite a bit and might get some fractions and whatnot. And so this third method that we have is called the elimination method. And what we do is we add the two equations together. And what happens when we add these together? What happens to the y's if we add them? Well, they eliminate, don't they? And so our x's come out to 12x, and our whole numbers come out to 48. So we get 12x equals 48. Now, this is the whole point of the elimination method. We're trying to eliminate either the y's or the x's. And in this case, we eliminated the y's. Now, why is that helpful to us? Now we can solve for x. All we have to do is divide by 12 on both sides, and we get x equals 4. Okay? And so we have half of our solution. We have the 4 of the x. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take either one of these equations right here, and we're going to find the y. And so I'm just going to use the first one there, 10x plus 4y equals 20. And I'm going to substitute my 4 that I found for x into the x of that equation. See how I put that 4 in there? Now I'm going to simplify and solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 40 on both sides. I get 4y equals negative 20. Then I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides, giving me y equals negative 5. And that is our y. And so we have our solution. So that point 4, negative 5, is the point where these two lines intersect. Now I want you to take a look at this equation, or this system right here. If we add these together, do any of them eliminate? Well, if the x's will turn into 5x and the y's will turn into 12y, and so that's a problem. We can't do the elimination method if we don't eliminate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change an equation. Now if you look at the y's, 4 and 8, 4 and 8 are very closely related to each other. 4 is half of 8. And if I wanted to multiply 4 times a negative 2, I would get a negative 8. Wouldn't that be great if I had negative 8 up there? Well, I can actually do that. And the way that I do that is I multiply the entire equation by negative 2, because I'm multiplying on both sides of the equation. So I'm not changing the value of the equation at all. So I'm going to distribute that negative 2 there, and this is my new system. I have now changed my first equation, 
and the y's are going to actually eliminate now when I add them. And so I add my x's and whole numbers, and I get negative 1x equals negative 7. I then divide by negative 1, and my x equals positive 7. So I put that 7 into my solution, and I'm going to find my y now. So I can use either one of these equations. And so I'll just use the first one there, 2x plus 4y equals 22. I'll put my 7 in for the x, and then I'm going to simplify. Now I'll subtract 14 on both sides, giving me 4y equals 8. Then I'll divide by 4 on both sides, giving me y equals 2. And we now have the solution, 7, 2, the intersection of those two equations. So this is kind of a level 2 um, of the elimination method. Now if you look at this one, this one's a little bit tougher. Um, I call it a level 3 because 5 and 3 on the x's and 2 and 5 on the y's um, are not related too well to each other. Um, the 5 and the 3, I can't change 3 to make 5 very easy and I can't multiply anything by 2 to make 5 real easy. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change both of the equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the x's. And 5x and 3x, their closest multiple is 15. So I'm going to make the top 15x and the bottom negative 15x. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by negative 5. That's going to make the 15x on top and the negative 15x on the bottom. And if I distribute those, I'm not going to change the value of the equation at all. And so here are my new equations, okay? And so now when I add these, my x's are going to eliminate. So I add my y's and whole number, and I get negative 19y equals 38. I then divide by negative 19, giving me y equals negative 2. And so my solution, I found the y this time, not the x. And so I'm going to use one of these two equations. Now you can also use the other two equations if you want, but the first two are going to probably be easier for you because they'll be smaller numbers. But I'm just going to choose the first one, 5x plus 2y equals 21. And I'm going to put negative 2 in for y this time. Okay, and I'm going to simplify that. Then I'm going to add 4 on both sides, giving me 5x equals 25. Divide by 5, and I end up getting x equals 5. And then I put that in the solution, and there, it, there you have it. It is the point of intersection for those two equations. All right, well, there you have it. You have all three levels of the elimination method. Um, this is a lot of info that just got thrown at you. I suggest watching it again, pausing it, really understanding how it works. And... Um, and hopefully you'll understand how, how to do the, uh, the problems. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.